And we're here. We're right back on the Art Block with our guest, Neil Calabro. So how are you? I'm good. Thank you. Great. How are you Thank doing? you. Doing Thanks well. for coming, Neil. Thanks, Ann. And um, Neil, uh, for you that don't know, Neil has uh, been in this business a long time. Not only uh, long, long. on screen, <laughs> but behind the camera, and as well as he wrote a book. And the book he wrote called is called Anyone Can Be in Movies, and you can find that on Amazon. Mm -hmm. So Neil, let's uh, get a little history first. Um, when did you start working in this business? And as uh, what? 94, okay. someone had told me uh, there's, they were shooting a movie called Andersonville, a TV okay. movie, mm -hmm. and I should go down and try to get a job as uh, on the crew right? Uh, okay. doing construction. So I drove from Athens, where I was living, mm -hmm. all the way to um, Riverwood Studios in Sonoya, and there was nobody there. All I saw was a little arrow that said extras that way. So I, I went to where it was, and there was one guy there, and he looked at me and said, you're too heavy. Mm -hmm. So I went home and was, went on a crash diet. Okay. And for five weeks, I barely ate. I jogged three miles a day and lost 25 pounds, went back to him. And they took me, and I worked on the movie for 60 days. Wow. Wow, 60 incredible. 60 days in the cold, the heat, the wow. night, the rain. It was a disaster, but, um, but on the other hand, it was a great experience. Right. Yeah, Eat your heart out. Eat your heart out, Christian Bale. Yeah. He lost all that weight, too. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, you did that uh, Robert De Niro method, you know, yeah, from, that's right. Raging Bulls. Right. Yeah. And I met one of my best friends on that shoot, and him and I, uh, the next year, we got in our separate cars, and drove up the East Coast. Wherever we found a movie, we would bug them until right. until yeah. they let us work. Right. And then we went west co um, from East Coast all the way to West Coast till we both mm -hmm. ended right. up in L.A. And um, he still lives there. He still acts. Uh, his name's Emmy Collins. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I left in '98 because uh, one morning when we woke up and found a chalk outline in front of our door, our front door, I thought, mm. I can't do this anymore. <laughs> I mean, mm. every day, helicopters above our right, head, right. Uh, shootings every day, there were bars on our windows. High speed chases. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. It's a daily it's, thing in California. Yeah, the whole Turn on the TV. Yeah. 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 I mean, I yeah. saw a prostitute get hit by a car. Right. I mean, it was, wow. it was bad. Yeah. So. Right. Uh, Some kind of Grand Theft Auto or something. Right. Yeah. That's a, that's I, a later wow. show. Yeah. I, I missed yeah. the green of Georgia mm -hmm. because right. California was all white except for pink donut shops. Mm -hmm. so. Mm -hmm. so Andersonville, the the movie, that was, um, I guess, if I'm not mistaken, that's the Civil War yeah. movie based yeah. on? Yeah, okay. about the uh, prison camp. Confederate that, prison. And Andersonville okay. is... Yeah. Um, I guess it's like an hour south of Macon. Right. Oh, right. Okay. Actually, okay. still visit the actual right uh, prison site. And they have that mm -hmm. big, huge cemetery. Yeah. For those who served. Right. And right. they have the right. very stream that's still there, where all the soldiers drank from and got sick. And um, right. And they were losing at one point a hundred people dying a day. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So roughly, I don't know if you know the exact number. How how many different films, not not behind the camera, but on screen, have you worked on? I say I would say I have collected about 500 vouchers. Wow, mm. 500. Name some of them. Give us uh, some. Jerry Maguire. Right. Okay. People versus um, Larry Flint. Larry Flint mm -hmm. and People versus Leo Frank. Right. I'm the only I remember that. I'm the only actor. The Atlanta. That's been on both. Yeah, that was yeah. shot in Atlanta. I remember that. I've seen that movie. Yeah, yeah the I, famous Leo Frank case. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. I was on okay. Third Rock and Seinfeld. Oh, you did a lot of Toad shows too. Wow. And 90210. Wow. Mm -hmm. Every the, day. The, every the day original one or the the new on oh, the CW? The original. Oh, original. the original. Yeah. Okay. Original. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. you you in LA you sign up with a service and they just um, call you at the end of the day and say. Tomorrow you're you're working on this movie. Be there at mm -hmm. 4:30 in the morning. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. So what is what? Uh, I won't say what is your one favorite, but what are some of your favorites? And and what and where did you get the best FaceTime? On which ones did you get the best well, FaceTime? I'm, I'm actually mostly known for dancing on the uh, the uh, Austin Power movie. Oh, which one? And the mm -hmm. very the very first, the first one. one? The, okay. the very beginning. <laughs> He's, uh, you know, the girls are following him and chasing him. Right. And he um, gets to one spot where there's a policeman right. stopping mm -hmm. him, and he freezes, and everybody freezes. 
and everybody starts dancing. Right. I'm um, okay. right next to the. There's two girls that are uh, wearing British flag right. skirts. Uh, right. Okay. Wow. Okay. That's good. That's Amazing. Good. All my footage is on uh, YouTube. My uh, YouTube channel name is N E I L L I E N E. Yes, it's hard. Right. But right. you can you can easily find right. find me on. Uh, Right. Facebook through you guys. And okay. Right. Right. And uh, so what? What have What have you done recently? Most recently? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh, you know I've worked with the movie that was just here. Well, uh, a couple months ago. Two months ago. Yeah. Uh, back in uh, March. Trouble with uh, the curve. Yes, trouble with the curve. curve and. Uh, Necessary roughness. Thank you. Thank oh, TV right. show. Yes. Necessary yeah. roughness. Yeah. Yeah. Film yes. and making yeah. for a day. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. So Most the curve. I, I loved seeing Clint first time. I'd ever seen him, right. and uh, right. um, so first time working on a movie with a Clint Eastwood movie, also. Yeah, right. yeah. Mm -hmm. he right. never happened to come through L.A. the whole time I was there, right. and uh, uh, did that. I got to be the hot, the uh, popcorn vendor, right. walking around right. throwing mm -hmm. stuff at people. So were there, um, and I'm sure there are. This happens with everybody. Uh, name some movies that you worked on. That while you were working on them, you're thinking, oh, this is just a piece of junk. And then it turned out better than expected, or vice versa. Something that you thought, man, this is going to be a great movie. And then this is going to be a big one. And it was just, and then you saw the finish, if you saw the finished product, it was, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Are there uh, many that, that stick out? Well, it's because you're on set and everything's so broken up right. mm -hmm. that you can't tell the flow right. and the feel um, on uh, A Time to Kill, which shot. In uh, above Jackson, Mississippi, in a little town called Canton, um, the the final uh, adjudication—I don't know—of Matthew McConaughey, right. where he was giving that grand speech, which um, mm -hmm. vaulted him into the business. Right. I mean, they had to stop and cut and do it over right. and right. give direction over and over. It was a hundred degrees in that little. Uh, there was a studio they made of a courthouse. Right. Okay. Everybody was sweating, right. uh, and it seemed like it was going to be horrible. Mm -hmm. But then, when you saw Matthew, you're going, "Oh, I love him!" Yeah, great performance. Yeah, standout performance. Yeah. And we're back on the block, the art block, with our guest Neil Calabro, who has a brand new book called "Anyone Can Be in Movies," available on Amazon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the fourth edition. Oh, fourth oh, edition. Wow. Yeah. Uh, okay. I was saying earlier uh, when a friend and mine, we went traveling up and mm -hmm. down the north coast and then to the west. You know, I, I wrote down everything we did, everything we learned, and that's what became the book. And uh, I just kept updating it through the years and then published it on Amazon uh, three or four years ago. And um, I, I actually had to get a fourth edition where I went back and blurred one of the uh, actresses' faces because she got angry at oh, wow. <laughs> the book and mm -hmm. she had it taken off wow. Amazon I mm -hmm. mean, by a phone call. This is wow. the and odd power of uh, Amazon never contacted me right. or anything. Right. Someone just made an email or something. I don't like my face being on this book. And, and what was the reason? That was just a reason. Didn't didn't like her face just being in it, so I had to go. Was back. she ugly? I'm just, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So she, was, I, she was a diva. Yes. A drop dead diva. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And I blurred okay. her face out in, in certain uh, pictures that she was in the book. So now it's just, and it's funnier now. You yeah. see the picture of us standing here, and there's this. And what, what movie was this? Or show, TV show? Uh, she was one of the people that uh, mm -hmm. we met in Mississippi and came to California with us. Okay. So she's in a lot of pictures. Oh. And I had to change her name, too. We need to, we should get Will, our director, producer, to maybe. Flash a picture of her up on the TV screen, <laughs> and then maybe we'll maybe we'll we'll hear from her. <laughs> Take that picture off. Maybe you could be a guest. <laughs> okay, so, so the uh, book's in two parts. Okay. Okay. And, uh, the first part is mm -hmm. uh, if you know nothing about acting, mm -hmm. how to get right. started, who to contact, how to contact, how you know the resume, the headshot, mm -hmm. right. getting in the union, getting your card. It goes through all of that. Uh, the book's 160 pages. The second half are all the weird things that happened to me in uh, travels right. with right. me and my friend, mm -hmm. Emmy Collins. T touch on a couple of, uh, real quick, uh, 
touch on a couple of, of incidents or stuff that, that stuck out that happened on sets with you, either with like other actors, right, right. the main actors. Mm -hmm. um, there, there's a movie, Shadow Conspiracy, shot in Virginia, uh, Charlie Sheen, uh, <laughs> me and my friend. Yeah, well, one time I was going up a, a, in, in a stairwell, in a back stairwell of this building, and he was coming down with his uh, mm -hmm. huge bodyguards. And he kind of, uh, the bodyguards kind of like went, don't, nobody touches Charlie. Right. But, um, Cause he's made a full tiger blood. <laughs> that's right. Make your head explode. <laughs> yeah. But uh, there was one scene in Shadow Conspiracy, uh, there's this scene where this helicopter, toy helicopter pops mm -hmm. out of a present and it's got machine gun on it. Mm -hmm. Right. And it's shooting at all these people, we're all running. And so uh, my friend Emmy, he said to me, mm -hmm. okay, this time when we run, you fall, I'll pick you up and, you know, help you out right. of the way. So they say action, I fall, he picks me up horizontally right. with my head here, my legs out there, and he's running me into all these people. <laughs> like a Batarang or something? <laughs> yeah, they're all, they're all running this way, he decides to run this way. And, mm. And this is the first time we met we met a union actress. She wow. came up to us and she was furious and she was uh, yelling at us, telling she was going to get us kicked off. This story is in the book and right. and uh, that we were unprofessional and wow. So mm. Good stories like that are okay. uh, through the book. So uh, real quick now, tell us about uh, you, you said you had a couple of uh, things you wanted to say about IMDb. Yeah, I mm -hmm. um, just uh, I was talking to. Um, the month and a half ago when we did Necessary Roughness, I was talking to uh, Lisa Fulford and um, Aaron Pridmore. Pri yeah. and, and there was they, a guest on here mm -hmm. recently. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. 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 former guest. Great yeah. Uh, they were saying, you know, I want experience. I want to get IMDb credits, but, you know, I'm going to have to apply for a movie right. and uh, get on there and wait till they get the uh, credit onto IMDb. Mm -hmm. And I was saying, no, you don't. Uh, you can simply make your own movie. If you have your own camera, right. make your own mm -hmm. little movie, make it three minutes, five minutes, it doesn't really matter. Right. And then there's right. a website, createspace.com, which is one of those mm -hmm. self-publishing right. companies. Right. And right. they will self-publish your, uh, your movie, make it into a DVD, and then Me it'll too. go from there to Amazon. Right. Oh, and right. once it's on Amazon, you can, you automatically can go to IMDB, right. sign up, and fill out all that long right. information of name of movie, who's in it, who's the director, right. music, right. and all that stuff. Right, and you, and you did that with your, you directed Through the Lens. Yeah. And you did that with that, which is like a what, eight, ten minute short. Ten minute short, right. Through okay. the Lens is... Filmed um, in this area. Filmed in um, Gray, Georgia, Jones County. Um, mm -hmm. It was part of that movie, part of that ten minutes, just about... 30 seconds to a minute is going to be used in a Steve Balderson movie. Right. Okay. And, uh, you know, he uh, just finished his last movie, Casserole Club, that uh, it had uh, it had won five awards up in right. New York at the uh, Vision Fest. And I'm glad you brought up uh, film festivals because that's another way uh, that you can get your movie on IMDb. That's right. Once exactly. you get it in a film festival, you do uh, Without a Box, and um, mm -hmm. it gets it on there, you know. It, yeah, it's, yeah. You know. Some of these, they tell you, this movie, even if you don't get chosen, mm -hmm. you can still get an IMDb credit for your for your movie. Right, right. So, um, you writing anything else right now? Middle of anything? Yeah, I'm pushing uh, mm -hmm. my uh, epic script called Dark Pines, Alabama. Um, okay. I'm trying to get, of course, funding, and I'm trying to get uh, actresses and everything. Uh, when Beth Grant was here, I got to speak with her producer, right. and uh, he's reading the script now, and hopefully, you know, we'll get her on board. Okay. Thank you, Neil. And check us out every Saturday, 12.30 p.m., here on Making TV, WPGA. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to support the arts.